Two fifty. We're gonna about to, uh, we're gonna pull up. Mr. Corner is gonna take over negotiations. All right, we've we've got a uh, a special negotiator coming into the scene. Okay, Absolutely, he's he's sir. specialized in dealing hey, with folks like you. And what okay? is this individual's name, sir? Uh, his name is going to be Mr. Cornwood. Mr. Cornwood. All That's right. right. I'm going to be handing over c the scene control to him. Cornwood. Understood. All right, folks. This is going to be uh, Officer Cornwood. Okay, he's going to take over the negotiations Understood. from here. Cornwood. We've got some uh, some military folks inside. They've got a hostage. They've Understood. been through the war. Okay. The one we're talking to, who's doing the negotiations, is a lieutenant. Okay. Military yeah. folks, huh? That's what they say. Yeah. Okay. There, All right. A Corwood's about to talk to you. Howdy, okay, y'all. How y'all doing today? All right, Mr. Corwood, I need you to uh, listen uh, calmly to me. My name is uh, Lieutenant Commander Admiral. Now, we are in here securing some assets. I do not wish that I had to be here doing this, but I have to do it. It is direct order. Well, Lieutenant Commander, first things first, I'd like to thank you for your service. I, I also served in Desert Storm. I was stationed in Berlin. I understand, sir, and I know this might be unfortunate circumstances, but you have to understand at the end of the day, I serve the Constitution. I do not serve the president. Now, yeah. I want you to understand, and I want to tell you what we got going on here. Did we my got Twitch four Prime? highly trained it soldiers did. in here, and we have one hostage. Now, we would like to get that hostage out of here safe and sound. Now, if you're willing to comply with us, we can get that hostage out here safe and sound. How does that sound? Well, absolutely, Lieutenant Commander. Now, now here, here's what we're going to do today. Is uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. You help us out, we'll help y'all out. How does that sound? That sounds absolutely well. Good and sound and clear 10 4, sir. Absolutely. So, uh, how, what, what do y'all what do y'all want to let let our friend here go? All right. So, these are negotiation terms here. Uh -huh. Now, we would like to get out here, and if we can get out of here safe and sound, we can promise you the safety of this hospital. There ain't going to have to be any blood spill. We don't want any blood spill. We want to make sure we can get safely to our car without any spike strips on the way out of here. How does that sound, sir? Y'all want no spike strips on the way out of here. Sir, that is all we are requesting, and we can guarantee the safety of this hostage. Okay, well, how about this? How about y'all go ahead and let the hostage go, and we can go ahead and not put down any spike strips on uh, on the way out. All right, sir. Call the, uh, uh, sir Cornwood, where exactly are you from, uh, if you don't mind me asking, sir? Odessa, Texas, son. Odessa, Texas. I uh, <laughs> went to East Texas Baptist University. Yep, I spent my time down in Corpus Christi for a bit. How's the weather in Odessa when you mm. call your parents? Damn good. Damn, best damn weather this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> I dare, I sure do miss them times. Mm -hmm. uh, let me check Absolutely. with my boys right now, and we're going to see how much time we need. How does that sound? Absolutely. All right, here's what we need to do. They're asking for no spike strips on the way out. I think uh, our best course of action here would be, as uh, Officer Bass laid out in the last Bankai situation, would be to uh, place some uh, police cars in the uh, several exit areas and funnel out their uh, release to one location. Uh, down the road, we can go ahead and set up another spot where Hi, we can go is that? Mr. Cornwood is PN real quick, sir. This is Trooper Andrews. All right, I'm going to continue negotiation. I'm now. doing fine. Uh, it was a lieutenant. Yeah, it was Lieutenant Commander Admiral. Lieutenant right, Commander, I'm, I'm back now. Andrews, please, can, can, you, can, you, can you let the damn sheriff work, Andrews? I got to say, it is an absolute pleasure to hear such I'm a shit. whoop your ass. Hickory smoke scotch of a voice. Oh, I got to let him know I'm serious, Andrews. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> hey, maybe on some time in another life yeah, when we're both cats, we can sit back and drink some scotch and smoke a cigar. Maybe, hey, hell, it might, might be after this tonight. <laughs> now I gotta tell you something. One of our men back there is having a call with his mother. His okay. mother in the hospital right now, and he's gonna conclude that call up here in a couple minutes. Oh, well, bless his heart. He's sound and square out of here. So if there's anything I can do for you on my end, I would love to help you. Well, absolutely. Well, you can go ahead and let that hostage go. If you want to go ahead and let him go right now, we'll uh, we'll give you all uh, free access without any sort of uh, police spike. Absolutely, sir. Unfortunately, the hostage here may have shat himself out of pure fear, so we're going to try and get his pants replaced over here. Okay, well, maybe scrape some of that shit. Hey, if that's, if that's the case, y'all can keep him. Hey, hey, listen, listen up real quick here. This is this is Gunnery Sergeant Huge Anus. Uh, listen, you're gonna have to move that uh, police cruiser uh, out of the way there. We got we need a clear line of uh, movement for our assets. Please, please move that uh, that police cruiser there. Oh, absolutely. We will move the uh, police cruiser that is directly in front of the uh, 
Directly in front of y'all's uh, vehicle here, y'all's black so sedan. Thank you for that, sir. We promise we will get this hostage out here safe and sound, and all of us can go home and fuck our wives tonight. Do it, I'll get it. Absolutely. Are you, are you married, Mr. Cornwood? My, my damn wife left me. Shelly Cornwood, she left me and she took the damn kids, too. Well, that just means more. Hey, y'all need to move that, that vehicle more. directly away from the, uh, directly in front of the black the sedan. Go ahead and give them that, that, that point to release. Well, Lieutenant Commander, I, I prefer not to speak about it. She she took my damn kids, and I moved to the city here in the last couple of years. So, like I said, once y'all give us the hostage, we uh, we will give you a free release out of this here parking lot with an open path. Hey, Ripley. Uh, yes, sir. We are gonna be uh, pushing out here in just a couple seconds here. Okay, we'll go ahead and let the hostage go first. Boys. Our, our boys are smooth out. And, and once move once out, once out. the hostage is safe, Might be all right now. Let's fucking yeah, run. Man. Letting the hostage go. Thank you, sir. It's been an honor cooperating Thank with God you today. You saved me. Adios, Miss uh, Migas. Can you not go faster? Can, can, you, can you drive in a straight line? Not ever. You've been driving oh, this oh thing. Oh my God! What the fuck are you doing, Mr. Cornwood? Please tell me you didn't disable this vehicle. Mr. Cornwood. Uh. Mr. Cornwood. Uh. Come back here, Kenny. You need to come in with me. He said that he was going to be okay. Said he's from from Rust Island. He's gonna be a great deputy, a great fucking deputy. He knows everything about police work. He's gonna be critiquing okay, us. He knows six. everything about this. This motherfucker couldn't even drive in a fucking straight line if that was the only direction that you could fucking possibly go. How, how the fuck do you spin out going 22 miles an hour, Mr. Cornwood? How is that fucking humanly possible? Hey, I'm not the one who broke the damn axle on this thing. Mr. Cornwood, you broke this fucking car. You bo you drove it from fucking Mission Road PD. It was in great condition to Polito, and it looks like it went through a toaster oven, a fucking blender, and a washing machine all at the same time. Yep, absolutely. He's trying to determine the saturation of their clothing. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. I was gonna send this to a different realm. Did it work? Mm. Here, try, try it again. Uh, Tiff 15, can we get a pickup off of Great Ocean? Um. Uh, how many, sir? You might want to call EMS as well. And an ambulance. <laughs> I'm fine. Ah. <laughs> No. Can I get in there and rough him up a little bit? No, you cannot rough him up. What does that even mean? Well, you know what it means. Why the hell would you think I would let you in there to rough up my prisoner? Are you out of your mind, Cornwood? Well, I meant verbally, not physically. Are you, are you trying to say, like, good cop, bad cop? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, I was, I was going to go for more for the bad cop, bad cop thing. Bad cop, bad. Okay. All right. You know, why don't you could go in there for a second, okay? And, okay. and you know, because that would, by comparison, maybe he'll think I'm the good cop, okay? But Okay. But I'm going to draw the line. Don't take your fucking gun out of your holster, okay? What about my taser? Don't take any weapons out of your holster, Okay. Do not threaten him with physical violence. Okay, can you do that? Can you take my flashlight out? No, that's physical violence. Well, I'll just put it in his eyes. No, don't put it... No, don't take any weapon out. of. Your, don't, make sure your hands I'll are give, empty. I'll just give him one of these. Well, well, well. What do we have here? What, what's that? How can I help you, officer? Well, partner. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? You don't need to worry about the other guy, okay? Okay. So, you thought you'd get away with it and say you're a stripper, huh? 
<laughs> no, no. I gave I gave y'all we'll the see. best damn negotiation y'all could ask for. I let y'all out scot free, and you're hanging around the damn clothing shop, going to a damn Coles, trying to get cheap deals for what is nah, it? Is, is listen now, officer. Tax free day was, coming up. What the hell's coming up? St. Patrick's listen, Day. If I was robbing this candy store, okay, that you that you were accusing me of, why would I go go clothing? Why why would I go to the 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 clothing store that's right across the street? From a police garage. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. That's real nice of you. I know. You tell me, son. You tell me. Yeah, well, Just relax, you. Charles. Everything will be yeah. fine. You don't need to worry about Cornwood. He ain't gonna. He ain't gonna bother you while I'm around. So yeah, I'll keep you nice that. and safe. Oh, what? Hang on a second. Hang on. By the way, son, let me just go ahead and give you this, just so you know. Ten four. Yeah, uh, Ripley, I'll be. I'll be right there. Full I'll time be right here it's urgent. now. Sheriff Cornwood. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, uh, nice, hey, okay. Cornwood, I got just called away from an urgent thing for a couple of minutes. Can you take care of Charles oh, alone? Absolutely. All right, I'll, I'll take be care back of him alone, minutes. won't I? All right, I'll be back. Listen, Don't worry. Uh, guys, please. Uh huh. My friend, it's it's not what you think, man. Okay. It's not what I, I think. Swear huh? I swear we're not that stupid. There's nothing. Uh -huh. no, you're not you know that stupid, I mean? huh? You yeah. know what sounds damn stupid to me? It's robbing a bank. I agree, officer. Fuck stupid bank robbers. Uh huh. Yeah, sounds good to me, huh? I can go under oath right now. In fact, you can put me under a polygraph, and mm -hmm. I got you. Uh -huh. My uh, insides are like a stone. Like They're, a stone? It's a, it's a stone. Uh-huh, like a rock. Yeah, yeah. That's you know what, the, that's you what, know what son? I've been to a rock, okay? You know, I did serve in Desert Storm. Actually, I was stationed in Berlin, but... uh. Okay. I, I've done a little bit of military work myself, okay? I've, I've seen the polygraph. I've seen the whole damn thing, okay? You're not going to tell me uh -huh. that y'all didn't rob no bank and and you're going to strip and going to the damn clothing store trying to trying to get away with this, okay? No, nah, no. Nah, we had just got done. Hey, listen, you have to get it right. It's not just stripping, okay? It's paintball mud stripping, right? Paint, paintball very specific mud stripping, thing. Huh? Yeah, we're waiting for it to get into the mainstream. Listen, son. You're lucky. Uh, I think they're watching me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They listen. Is that really a mirror? Oh, no, it's a mirror, son. It's a mirror. Okay. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know when the watch commander's gonna step back in here. Okay. <laughs> please, please, sir. Please. So you best be. You, you best. You best be careful. Okay. Otherwise, we're gonna be having a. Separate discussion. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You're spank, you're gonna spank my ass? Yeah, yeah. I bet you like that, huh? You're saying you're Listen, would you like to participate in the next strip uh, paintball session in the mud? No, son. I, uh, in the mud. Yeah, like. The, yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, listen, you didn't hear what I told you it was. It's the mud paintball strip sesh. Feel me? Hmm. No, no, no. Yeah, it's I'm not. I'm not, I I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not going down that road again. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you got some. You got some history with mud, or Co college was a crazy ass time. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, you, you ever play a battle yeah, royale? Listen, listen I've read the battle royale. I've PUBG. read the. I've read the book. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so it's just last man standing, right? Wins. Uh huh. All right. So whoever can snitch the best, per se. Gotcha. So does he have a machine Walk gun, or does he have a spoon? All right. So. I, I like H one Z one, all right. So okay. he, he found a uh, he he found a pistol right now. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Uh, you can find a, a AR and just two oh, taps. That's light, dude. Let me just. Okay. Sorry, go on. Are you a, are you are you a two tapper? Ah, listen, I'm more of a I'm more of a wannabe two tapper. I go for the taps and then I just hit lots of body. And all then, right. Yeah. I mean that works. That works. I mean, they really fucked up that game. So, I mean, the bullet drop. Well, anyway. True. True. So, okay. So, why, why don't you try to go for a two-tap? Tell me something that might be too tappage. Okay. Listen. These outfits we're wearing are not really that camouflage. Yeah, I think we should have gone with more of a green to make it more believable for, our, for the shoot. You know what I mean? And okay. that was his fault. He decided to go with tan. And as soon as we got there, we realized it. But we just had to kind of roll with the punches because it was it, we, gas money was on the line at that point. Okay. I mean, wh where's there? You know, the forest right right behind uh, the Polito. Uh, not the Polito, sorry. The, the Harmony Garage, right across from Harmony Garage behind the bank. We were just in that little forest area. Okay. Yeah, so we you... were just changing back into our normal clothes and you guys rolled up on us. We were all done. 
tell me this why are okay. you wearing the same clothing mm -hmm. that we observed mm -hmm. certain individuals at the Polito bank robbery wearing well i mean why do hunters all wear the same fucking shit you know what i mean i guess it's just we were trying to be as realistic as possible you know out there paintballing and stripping okay. Plus, people strip in things that people wear normally, right? It's like, if I went out there in a duck outfit and started stripping, it just wouldn't make that much sense, right? That's that's true. <laughs> All right. Give me a second. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you actually grabbed a shotgun. Light, man, and you right. try to go for a point blank kill, but you missed. So I'm, I'm going to go see if uh, uh, <laughs> Down Bad can grab an AR and two tap. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see me, did you, huh? I didn't see you just till right this second. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. You're quick, huh? Listen, son, you're lucky you've been dealing with Andrews and not me, okay? I know. You're man. lucky as hell. Hey, you run a five minute mile? I run a four minute mile, son. Whoa. What the fuck? This motherfucker mm -hmm. runs a four minute mile, you know that? Mm hmm, that's right. Which is gear on, it says. He says, which is gear on? Mm -hmm. uh, if you could go down the hall there to the, uh, the sales area, the other. Uh, <laughs> Suspect is ready to flip a deal on this guy and get him sent away. So if you could just oh, go over there, good. Copper needs you to it was just... ask you a few questions. I like the sound of that. I want to put this one away for a long ass time. Yeah, this is the one that's going to fall on the sword. That one's going to be fall walking uh -huh. free. So if you go down the that hall, just talk to, to me. Talk Tell to him I'm copper. sorry about the stripping. I didn't want to add it. We, we didn't need to add it. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I wish you would have sang earlier, man. You could have saved your skin. <laughs> be sending uh charles johnson up there it's going to be uh 59 <sighs> months you know what hell just leave him in for 69 for uh, robin <laughs> Polito back police that's a nice matter all right mr johnson they're all expecting you up there uh in Polito. if you could just uh keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all okay, times okay gotcha you'll be at bolingbrook penitentiary before you know it make sure you check in with the doc upon your arrival and they will begin you through your uh, i think it's going to be five year incarceration so uh <laughs> will do hey, you know what i'll uh I'll let you know what kind of movies you missed while you're around there all righty <laughs> All right, here's a placard. Hold that up. Hell yeah. All right, cheese. Man, great, this, great. Me side months. Here's the guy that's going to Bolingbrook for five years because, uh, <laughs> you know, he just he just had to, on principle, even though his buddy flipped on him, he wouldn't sign a confession. You know, my conscience is clear. Well, I hope it guides you through Bolingbrook, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, hopefully Bovice isn't there. Ugh. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leaving me. She kissed me one time and she took my heart. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me. I'm a honky tonk star. Yeah, I'm a honky tonk star.